Hi everybody, it's Sunny Bonani. Welcome to my channel. Kamala Mungunda and Omilaji. And on this channel, I spoke about reality shows A2 Alim Zanzi. Basis is a lot of people who are watching this. I'm going to give you a few tips. People who are watching this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel A2 Alim Zanzi. If it's your first time joining me today and you think you like my content, please press the subscribe button. Like and ask for the notification bell. Can't forget if you are a returning viewer and you want to be very very important on this channel. <laughs> as you already are please there's a join button that you can use to join as a member of the channel and there's also a thanks button if you want to give money to the channel and thank you so much to every single person that watches adverts on this channel anyway you guys i did do a video where i was talking about the fact that the four ladies uh, have been let go when it comes to the real housewives of Durban in the new season okay and i did talk about the fact that i wasn't happy there's a lot of people that are not happy some people are, are happy that some of the people are gone but they're not happy that some of the people um are gone <laughs> okay so it's mixed reactions from uh the viewers but i'm one of those people that even though i'm not happy with them gone except for marco mario because i did i read fe i did feel like she did not fit in last season i am um going to watch still so season three i'm definitely going to watch even though they're not there okay in the last video that i did i talked more about the decision of the producers to not bring the ladies back uh and i talked about how i feel like there was the mistake on their part to not bring back these ladies because there is something that they were bringing to the show but today i am going to talk about the mistakes that i think that these ladies uh, made uh, last season or the season before because last year oh, is the OG actually in, in Real Housewives of uh, Devon. Okay, so now with uh, let's start with Ulasi. Okay, like Congo, obviously, uh, a lot of us believe because she was let go because uh, of her unwillingness to share her real life. This is a reality uh tv show so even though a lot of it is scripted but it's based on your real life and she seemed uh to be the person that doesn't want to share her life we have watched her for two full seasons we've never seen her mother we've never seen her mom have we seen her sisters we haven't seen her sisters we haven't seen any of her family members we haven't seen her go to work basically <laughs> none of her real life really have been shown on tv even though she had a really like interesting and spicy uh life on real housewives of Devon, she was eating something on real housewives of Devon. but at the end of the day we want to know more about you if you are a cast in a reality show so i do believe that that was one of the reasons that she was let go however you know i did like her friendship with umabuse especially because that was the only friendship that we knew for sure uh continued outside of the show and actually existed even uh before uh, the show or at least that's what they uh tell us okay and honestly a lot of the times when people go on a reality show as friends uh, a lot of the times uh, the friendship ends during uh, the time when they are doing the show because most of the time everybody is, is um, fighting to stay on the show and sometimes it can get to a point where they betray each other so that they can get the spot because you don't know who's going to get a spot in the next uh, season so i'm very happy that uh, even though obviously when they did season two mabusi nolasi there was a chance that one or, or one of them might come back or none of them might come back but they didn't betray their friendship they were still able to remain uh friends so i like that you know a lot okay but i think one of the mistakes that ulasi made was uh, her not making efforts to actually become friends uh, with Makumalo because overall I think that they would have made a really a great team had Ulasi, Umabusi, uh, Umakumalo and London London became some sort of a friends uh, a friend group just like Usorisha, Ueni, Ujojo Kanye no no cool i think had they done that nabo and form sort of their own group that is loyal to each other uh, on the show 
uh, it would have made such a big difference and it would have made such an interesting uh, dynamic. Uh, it would have added such an interesting dynamic in a group. So I do feel like uh, Ulasi, even though I appreciate her being honest when Umakumalo came in to say, listen, this is not somebody that is my favorite person, but I feel like for the sake of the show, she missed out. She didn't have the correct strategy to say, yes, I might not get along with this person outside of the show, but let me see if we can build something here uh, and see if we, c we could be... Um, a powerful uh, duo for the show and I think they could have uh, done well I thought actually that they might uh, become friends be when I had heard that Mark Malo was going to come to the show before I knew that there was something there in their friendship that was creating tension so I do think that in, in them not both Umakumalo and Ulasi not making an effort to actually squash whatever it is that uh, was going on with their relationship or non-existent relationship to work on a relationship and and maybe become friends i think that was actually a mistake on their part it, it might have helped them to actually stay on on the show then there is umakumalo umakumalo i do feel like she actually chose the wrong side and she chose the side that she didn't necessarily uh, belong to because she chose a side low low sorisha but there is the side that uh where she was feeling more and more like an outsider it's like she couldn't relate to those women i felt like she could have related better to ula tonto to mabusi to ulondi london had she made efforts to become friends with them but i feel like she was so stuck in wanting to be friends with the rich girls that she didn't give it time to say even if i have issues with this side of the group but let me try and build friendships i think umabusi Uma actually made efforts with umakumaro there was a sit down way it wasn't a sit down but she called her aside umakumaro to try and talk about the tension that they had because because umabusi was friends with ulasi uh, it was like Umabusi is taking the side Ligalasi in the conflict between Ulasi and Umakumalo. And I feel like Umabusi did make an effort to try and be like, you know what, I know you're not getting along with my friend, but there is no reason for us to not get along. But I, Umakumalo, at the time, she was not receptive because for her, she was settled in the fact that I'm not friends with Ulasi and I already have friends in the group. I have. Um, uh, U, U, U Sorisha is my friend. I have um, U Jojo and I have U, 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 and who are not really her friends because it is a show, you guys. So I do feel like honestly, it worked against them that they didn't make those efforts to actually be closer to each other because I feel like there is a group that could have made such a powerful uh, friend group and it would have been maybe even difficult for the um uh, for the producers to let them go had they built uh, that bond you know and also when you when it comes to london london we all know the the mistake that london london made i think initially when she was introduced to the show she correctly identified the person that uh, she should have been uh, close to and that was Ulasi because if you look at their friendship at the beginning of the season Ulasi no, no Londi London I really really loved their friendship they seemed to be getting along they got each other you know but I feel like Ulondi London was confused because I, I feel like she knew that there is more chances that Abo Eni no Sorisha and, and that group of the rich girls might actually be coming back next season and also just the fact that they are rich you know it's like everybody wants to be associated with that rich group and so she at the end of by the end of the season she was influenced in letting go of hers and Lassie's friendship which was a really really good friendship you guys I was sad about it so when it comes to the reunion in, instead of her uh, fixing her friendship and, and, and saying listen my friend I was not a good friend to you can we start over she drew Ulasi under the bus you know when everybody was coming after her for uh, the Mr. Petter storyline and saying that Ulasi was lying and and all of that she actually took the side of the other girls nobody had uh, lasses back but guys imagine a situation where those four girls uh, stood up for each other 
and imagine a situation where they had each other's back like all of them were like defending each other having each other's back giving giving each other support at the reunion how interesting the reunion the reunion would have been because it seemed like everybody was against ulasi and she was on her own and even the people that she thought were her friends were not uh, there for her especially when it comes to london london and i think also ulasi uh, at the reunion she did attempt to sort of turn things around with umakumalo but it was already too late and umakumalo didn't recognize it towards you know what this is not just ulasi trying to turn things around uh, to become friends with me but a reunion also is an indicator it's like a, a, a finalization of the last you know, reunion so you can actually do things at the reunion they can convince the producers that they need you for the next season and i think ulasi was sort of trying to turn things around because remember when she was saying i actually love makumalo and makumalo was like how can you say you love me when you talk about me uh, behind my back you know i feel like there was an attempt at lassi saying you know what maybe it wasn't a good idea for me to go against you can we turn it around but makumalo didn't receive it you know i do feel like of course um now they can't do anything about it they have left the show but i feel like the other cast members can actually learn a lot uh, from that a lot of uh whether you stay in a reality show or not you have to think about the strategy in terms of who you're gonna bring uh, build friendships uh with you know who who you're going to be loyal to you know and it has to be friendships that will make sense to the viewers you know and friendships that will be supported by the viewers because i i really guys i i feel like for me i am even more sad that these four women are going because i really feel like they could have built such a powerful force but they didn't recognize that as a strategy from the beginning to say if we can just come together the four of us it will be very hard for the producers to let go of us because for some reason the richer ones the producers don't want to let go of those even though they have no storylines they don't share any of their lives uh, at all they focused on the other girls as uh, life at least to nonko shares something but the producers are just determined to keep them and also i do feel like if ulondi london had ulasi umakumalo and uh, umabusi coming um, had she built a friendship with these women and then they were coming back this season she would have felt felt confident enough to come back because at least she would have been like oh okay at least i have three people that are going to have my back with these women so now at the reunion she threw the only friend that might have been her genuine friend during the show threw her under the bus now she's gonna come back to abo any abazon and ask her Uguti, were you rich when last season and uh, obviously i understand why she doesn't want to do the show it's very important that when you go on a reality show you have a strategy who is the person that i can build a friendship with that is likely a friendship that is likely to keep me on the show you know whether the friendship is genuine or not but which friendships can help me to stay on the show if your intention is to stay on the show i'm very sad to see them go but you know i could uh see even a spin-off with the four of them honestly like ulasi with umabusi umakumalo ganyanolo kuzana ganyanolo ndi london could do such a great spin-off something that is not even based on them at them being housewives because they were good tv but maybe just not for that show i think ulasi is good tv i think ulondi london is good tv and umabusi too you guys and umakumalo just not for the real housewives because onu turn on the she does well so i'm sad to see them go and i do feel like they also made mistakes in uh, last season that have led to them being let go uh this season anyway uh Israel housewives can go uh on for for years and years and years sometimes housewives will leave the show and then they will come back and some never come back so i mean it really just depends but yeah i do hope that um 
the season is going to be more fire than the last season because of course last season we did have some issues with some storylines and now they don't even have the ones that will create fake storylines like abolasi so i wonder what's gonna happen this season anyway you guys that's all that i wanted to say on this issue please like the video before pumagona share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in tanda